Fee-fi-fo-fum. I smell the blood of my YouTube audience. Blood. I smell your blood. Classy. <sighs> We're gonna have fun today. Hello down there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be doing the teeny weeny art challenge but unlike you've ever seen it before. This is the ultimate teeny weeny art challenge. Why you ask? Because I needed a better thumbnail and title than the last time I did this, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, because this is a collab with Nerdy Crafter and this is something that has actually been on my to-do list since, mm, oh, I don't know, the start of the year. So my huge apologies to Jackie from Nerdy Crafter who I promised to do a collab with from before March. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. Jackie the Nerdy Crafter made these. Now I actually haven't seen these yet uh, and she had sent me them all the way back in March and inside them is contained oh my god look at this I knew they were mini sketchbooks but I didn't know they were so freaking adorable it's me it's spiral bound and everything that is so cool now there are a few here again I haven't seen any of these so this is sort of an unboxing vi unwrapping video what have we got Jazz's mixed media sketchbook oh my god so this is comic color mixed media I think this one has a little <gasps> <laughs> oh, you bloody legend. We've got two Copic paper sketchbooks, one with the strap, and then a mixed media sketchbook, which I believe is card paper, so it's a bit thicker. Oh my god, they're so cute! <laughs> <coughs> I mean, <coughs> yep. They're pretty cool. Go check out Jackie's channel, The Nerdy Crafter, and go subscribe. I'm gonna to link to a video where she showed how to make your own mini sketchbooks of two types. I believe one is more of a hard bound book, like not the spiral bound, but the actual edge bound. I'm not good at explaining it, but she is. So go check out her channel and subscribe while you're there. I am going to be using some uh, magnifying help to get me creative today in putting some art in these books and I have purchased some assistance from eBay. Except I put this one upside down. That's better. I don't know which, if any of these will be useful. I have a hand magnifying glass, a table mounted magnifying glass and some head mounted magnifying glasses. I want to be able to get really close to my art here and I have some fine liners and a pencil and miscellaneous drawing stuff. Now I did recently contact Jackie and asked if she could send over some drawing prompts because I'm incapable of making my own decisions. However, I'm waiting for those to arrive in the mail. So I thought I'd record the part of the video today where I introduce it and then I'll come back oh, later. And... Here. Oh, it's... It's the postman. Yeah, that's me. Hello, postman. Yep, yeah, hello. Some mail's just arrived for you and some teeny tiny envelopes. Today? Okay, great. That's right. Thank you. That's really convenient timing, postman, who is definitely a real postman and not my own voice. I added in post-production to make this bit make sense. You're welcome. <laughs> And the prompts have arrived. These, oh my God, look at these. I'm gonna spend this entire video giggling like a schoolgirl. Oh my goodness. They are so small. This one says, read me first. So I'm gonna read you first. I have a feeling I'll need these. <laughs> I can't see a thing. <laughs> it's got a light. Oh, it's got two lights. Ooh, I look like an alien. This is the best. Wait, wait, I can strap it to my face instead of wearing it like glasses. That's sturdy for eBay. Seriously, come on, man. Worth it. Okay, yeah, no, I literally can't see through these, but it has different lenses. I know what you're thinking. We're like four or five minutes into this video and you haven't drawn a teeny weeny thing. Ah, you're just dropping crap and persisting with these props you bought as gags. Well, yes, I am, because I'm nothing if not obnoxious, but consistent. I have no idea what I just clipped in there. I'll just clip in the other one of that. 10 times zoom. This is 25 times, 20 times and 15 times. So we'll start off with the smaller amount of zoom. Oh my God. This is really disorienting. I have to get really close for that to work. I think this is for like jewelry. You know when they hold, oh yeah, it's definitely for jewelry. This is totally impractical, but it looks awesome. Wow, it really gets close. But let's face it, I'm not gonna be able, hey, that's not bad. I actually can draw. This is my backup in case things get really intense. Fine, we'll do it the vanilla way. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. That's. That's pretty magnifying. Ooh, looks cool from where you are too. So does my mouth. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drawing Channel. 
Okay, I'll open the damn envelope. Now, I'm gonna get you guys to read along with me, but to do that, I'm gonna bring in this camera, and for it to adequately zoom in enough to capture teeny tiny stuff, it's gonna feel a little intrusive. I'll just weave my arm under here. Dear Jazza, please pick any number of the pink envelopes, but only one of the blue ones from Nerdy Crafter. Look at this paper, it's so kitten rainbowy for such a teeny tiny piece of paper. So I'm to pick any number of the pink envelopes and one of the blue envelopes. So I'm gonna choose two of the pink envelopes. Those two. Okay, and out of the blue envelopes, I choose, well, I mean, the choice is a, a paw or a full on kitten. So let's stick with the kitten theme, shall we? Let's, uh, let's open the pink ones first. Sorry, Jackie, for ruining your delicate, beautiful envelopes. I'm going to be drawing a three headed <sighs> giant. That's fitting, given my thematic opening and only one of the blue envelopes. <laughs> I'm just butchering these cute little envelopes. All right. With a free choice of colors. Well, that's nice. A three-headed giant with a free choice of colors. Because I'm using Copic markers, I'm gonna use my Copic paper sketchbook. And uh, I'm just gonna approach this like a regular old character design session. So I'll start off with some concept sketches and play around and see what we can come up with. And then I'll do one final refined piece with inks and Copic colors. Now I attempted to approach the illustration through the design process, doing a bunch of mini sketches and refining the design, but we came apparent pretty quickly that a loose drawing style like how I draw when conceptualizing isn't particularly useful when drawing at such a small scale. I tried creating a giant three-headed ogre creature and then I experimented with uh, more of a dog-like hellhound creature but I decided to go with something a little more familiar to adapt the three-headed giant concept to. A giant three-headed jazza with different personalities for each head. Now I'm actually going to interject at this point in the voiceover recording session of the post-production of this video to acknowledge that I noticed someone mentioned in a recent video that I tend to default to the Jazza avatar character in a few of my more difficult or quirky art challenges, which I now realize can get old and I don't want to keep taking the easy road. So if you'll forgive this one, I'll promise to spread my wings more often in future challenges. In the meantime, hindsight's 2020, and I hope you'll enjoy this attempt at my microscopically amplifying the obnoxiously consistent avatar character. So I decided to give each head a different persona. One of which being the default enthusiastic self. Then on the right, French Jazza from the infamous Sexy Benjamin saga that those of you who have been around on this channel for a little longer will be familiar with. And then on the left, a techie cyborg Jazza with VR goggles and a robo arm wielding a digital tablet pen to represent the gadget obsessed artist in me. Now, as you can imagine, sketching at this teeny weeny scale is very difficult. And the more I sketched, the more I realized I needed to get closer because while you have a pretty clear view watching this, I actually had to make a compromise of my own view and how close I could get to the piece by prioritizing your view and the cameras. So in the end, I sort of realized that to move on to refinement and create my final piece, something's got to give. And it was time to go back to the drawing board and restructure my setup. Okay, so I've hit a bit of a crossroads. I am happy with the concept and uh, excited to move on and create my Jazza Giant three-headed monstrosity, but it's really teeny tiny and I want to get super detailed. And as you can see, I'm quite inhibited by my current camera setup. So I'm going to try and reconfigure things. And as you guys know, if there is an opportunity to mount a GoPro to my head, I'm going to take it. So I'm going to mount this thing onto my head so I can get this thing out of my way. I'm going to wear these so I can get super close and mega detailed because I want to get it as clean and crisp as possible. And I'm going to move this camera off to the side so I don't have to try and weave my hand through it. Now that being said, this is going to still be a very difficult thing to film and show you what I'm doing. So I'll do my best. It may not be the prettiest footage ever, but I want to get really close up and uh, get a super detailed final crisp result. So wish me luck.
God, that was incredibly uncomfortable. But guess what? I'm done. Now, it's sort of obviously hard to show you. I mean, filming it was a bloody nightmare. But even doing the artwork was like really more uncomfortable than I would have imagined because to actually see through these things and get close enough, I had my face right up against the table and my breath against the table was like right against my face. And then beyond that, these things are like, they're pretty cool. They zoom in like really, really effectively. But the problem is everything is so big and blown up when I'm that close that it looks like it's giant and moving around really fast. So towards the end, I was actually getting a little bit dizzy and motion sick, but hey, nothing is worth doing unless it's, it hurts to do it. Is that a saying? It is now, that's my saying. So it's time to reveal the final piece. This is the, uh, the GoPro close up. It's actually not, it's so small that the GoPro can't even focus on it. But this magnifying glass has this handy dandy little ultra magnifier thing that when I put the GoPro lens up to it, I can get nice and close. And now you can see it in focus. This was really hard to keep the lines straight and make something that looked actually like something. So so here it is, ladies and gentlemen, my Mecha Jazza with three heads. He's a, a giant and ready to tackle all of the world's arty problems. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. I had a lot of fun making it up until I got motion sick. That being said, I want to give one last plug to Nerdy Crafter who made these incredible little sketchbooks. She has a video again where she shows you how to make them herself and she gets up to all sorts of fun arty antics, which I totally approve of and can't recommend enough. So thank you so much, Jackie, for sending this stuff over. I hope you enjoy the result and I hope you enjoy the result. Make sure to like this video and of course, subscribe to Draw With Jazza if you're new here and you wanna see more fun with art three times a week. That's it for now, ladies and gentlemen, and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.